welcome to the first of a couple of Cornwall vlogs. We are away for three nights, four days. Oh yes, I've got a plaster on my finger. <laughs> Just in case you wondered what that was. It is, it matches my, matches my outfit. It goes with everything, black goes with everything. These are from Ikea by the way. But anyway, I've gone off on a tangent. We, we are away um, in Cornwall for three nights, four days, and I thought I'd vlog, do a little couple of holiday vlogs for you. Um, we've stopped, we are in Lynmouth. If I just turn the camera around. We just popped up and we're gonna have lunch. We brought a little carnic with us and this, this is our view. Look at that, lunch with a view. Um, we've been here um once before we've been to cornwall once in 2011 oh, yeah that's what it was it was seven nice. years ago we last went to cornwall it was seven years ago we were last here actually um Still so away. yeah it's because cornwall's four hours away this is like halfway so linton and linmouth is like two hours two right hours away down. yeah it's a really nice drive actually well for you yeah. <laughs> i didn't drive i just admired the view just um sat. i just sat <laughs> i didn't sleep though I mean, I didn't sleep. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to have some lunch overlooking the cliffs. I don't know what cliffs they are. Do, do we know what they are? Rocky ones. Rocky ones, yeah. Okay, great, great description there. Um, so we're going to have our lunch, then we're going to wander into town. We're going to take the water, is it a water lift or water taxi? Water train? Uh, I don't know what it's called. It's water, water lift. Linton Cliff Railway. There we go, that's what it is. Linton Cliff Railway. And it takes you up down are we up or down we're down we're down so it takes you up to linton linton and that over there and that over there a bit of land a bit of land swansea is it yeah. oh well there you go we're sort of we can see wales from here Hi Chris's mum and dad. It's not far, they're not far. <laughs> right, so we've got two hours on the car, so let's have our lunch and then we will wander on into town. When you're with me, let every way gently kiss away some of the hardness from those brief yet gloomy days. I remember this bit from yeah. last time because there was loads of um, bunting up. Yeah. It's very not far off the same time actually, I don't think. No. I just love little towns like this with like cutie little shops and things, little nooks and crannies. Right, let's do the Linton and Linmouth Cliff Railway. It is £3.90 for a return journey. I think one's just left, I think. Baby shark, do 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 He's like, you got any chips? Come on, yeah. Got any oh, chips? Oh, I still win. Red. Huh? I win. That is our little pit stop in Linton and Linmouth done. We are headed back to the car for another two hour journey to two and a half. Cornwall. Two think, and a half, is yeah. it? To Nuki. So, so look how weird the clouds look. So bizarre. 
but pretty. They all look like they're gonna rain, all individually. <laughs> <laughs> and we've arrived in Newquay at our travel lodge, which we have a huge room. We have a family room for some reason. Didn't look at all but right. didn't order a family room. We ordered this travel lodge like months and months and months ago. It was like thirty pounds a night, and um, yeah, and the view is not too bad, is it? Look at that. Also, we have a little friend that is staring us out. <laughs> is it sad that we've bought our own mugs? <laughs> That's because they give you little mugs. They're not that little. They're not actually little this time, no. No, but we bought our own mugs in London because, you know, we're that kind of people. <laughs> you have tea bags. Oh, picked a green one up. Oh, green tea. Oh, no. <laughs> Chris doesn't like green tea. <laughs> Leave that one behind. <laughs> <laughs> I like green tea. <laughs> Dressed up, ready for dinner. We're staying at this Aldi Travel Lodge. What's it called? <laughs> Aldi. No, at the Travel Lodge. And we're just heading for dinner, Ooh. which is just up here. A little Greek restaurant called Stavros. Here's where we're going. <laughs> The olives are not Thank you. morning it is monday it is around half past 10 in the morning uh we are on the way out plans today we are going to go to fistral beach for a wander around there then we're going to nuki zoo at three o'clock we're doing something very exciting chris has booked for us to go and feed the lemurs i'm so excited um so that's at three o'clock um and that's about it really i think the main bulk of like going to visit the beaches and things will be um tomorrow and wednesday because i think we're going to go to like nuki beach wander around nuki um we're going to go to uh padstow and just see where else see where else the next couple of days take us but for today Fistral Beach for a wander around there, although Chris has just gone back up to the room because look, it's raining. It didn't say it was gonna rain on the weather, but um yeah, he's gone to he's gone to change his trainers and put his boots on because he doesn't want to get his trainers wet. Um so that's the plan today. Okay? Yeah. Got your boots yeah. so you don't get your trainers wet. Yeah. <laughs> Over there, around there, okay. Yeah, what are they? They're they like mussels, aren't they? 
anybody knows what they are, let us know. Um, how about no? Um, yeah, that makes it worse. <laughs> My poor ovaries can't take the cuteness. Look at these! They're so tiny! That was a really nice walk along Fistral Beach and somebody has just told me on my Insta stories that the hotel on that beach is actually the one from The Witches, the film with Angelica Houston. So um, I didn't know that, so there's a random bit of information for you. Anyway, we've just arrived at uh, the zoo, we're just paying for parking, which surprises us actually that we have to pay for parking here usually you wouldn't have to at a zoo anyway now we've paid for parking nearly uh let's go inside and look at the animals i've never been to nuki zoo we've been to Payton zoo before but never to nuki so i'm not quite sure how big it is what animals are here i know there's penguins here right yeah <laughs> this little train here we just discovered goes all the way into town hop on hop off valid all day should we do that tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> right, so we're just deciding where we want to go now. We've just been to the reception and picked up our um, lima feeding thing. We had to sign a um, disclaimer to say that we wouldn't yeah, steal we one. Steal one. <laughs> We've got a drinks voucher as well for the cafe, which is just there. But we're just finding our bearings because we don't have to come back here until three o'clock. So where are we going to go first? Mm, I mean, uh, I, spy the, start, yeah. I spy the penguins. Yeah, we're heading that way. We'll go that way. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go. Hey dude. Just having his carrot. What's the one in Friends called? Marcel. Marcel. Why is it the one that hangover? <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Look at the teeth. Yeah. So quiet at this zoo, isn't it? Yeah. Like there's hardly anyone around. It's like we have the zoo to ourselves. <laughs> Look. A lot of things are shut Look. though, like the little like little snacky. Oh, yeah, because it's not busy. The main one open. But, um, nice. yeah, it's lovely. It's lovely. Lovely. Ooh. Oh, it could be. Crowd Lima's here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
uh, they like to swap uh, uh, their positions, get to a place where they feel the most comfortable. Wow, we've just been and watched the lions being fed. It's really interesting actually, and they've come from Longleat. So um, yeah, he was like, anybody been to Longleat? <laughs> we put our hand up, obviously, <laughs> every weekend. Uh, anyway, we are now on the way to go and feed the lemurs. Are you excited? Yeah. yeah. Wait, Dav, I'm not feeding you. Not today. <laughs> so, right, if you want to Close the, the door. Box. Yeah, thank you very much. Lovely. So, if you want to pick a spot in the enclosure anywhere, okay. um, there is, I don't think you have to duck under branches, so it's up to you if you want to do that. But there's little stool, um, per, Hello, Nico. Um, <laughs> uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Tree stumps that you can put perch on if you want to, or there's a little wall just there. Okay, so oh, we just okay. make our way in there. Yeah, so by all means, go ahead. Okay. Hi, guys. Hello, you. Oh, I don't know if I. Oh, wait a second. Oh. <laughs> Is that better? Wait. Oh, beetroot. So, let me introduce you to these guys. So, we've got our crown lemurs. So, in your bowl, you have the Kobe. Behind you here, you've got Balua. So, Balua is the grey one. And then just up in the tree next to the Kobe is Zavo Xavier. So, Xavier is the Kobe's dad. Um, and then Balua is a completely unrelated female. So, she's not the Kobe's mum. We caught her in. Oh! <laughs> 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 Didn't want that bit then. Is it? No. <laughs> it's a good noise. Hmm. <laughs> you already like that. Munch, munch, munch. Balua is just over there in the tree. Oh, is that cauliflower in there? It looks a bit yeah. like feta cheese. I was like, oh, it's <laughs> <laughs> No, they get, they get all sorts of different vegetables. So we kind of group our vegetables into A, B's and C's. So the A's are things like lettuces, so really leafy, watery veg. Um, group B is things like peppers, sweet corn, so your broccoli, um, cauliflower, that kind of thing. And then C is root veg. So things like sweet potato, oh, well, eh? beetroot and... Because you mix it up every day? Yeah, so we weigh everything out. Um, we've got different weights for each group of veg. And we also don't have particular vegetables that we use each time. So they have two veg meals a day. Um, and we always try to give them something different. So it's a bit of variety as well. <laughs> the baby's in there. Comfy? Yeah. And the beaky's still trying to get into their box. Oh, I don't yeah. mind now. Yours looks more appealing. Oh, yeah. Bigger. And Sab's all over there. You have to. You could do that. You've got a carrot. Ah, that was so good. I really enjoyed that. Did you? Yeah. That's so good, it was so interactive. Um, she was so informative with everything. Really enjoyed it. And we got a little pack, we got a certificate. Look, it's got our name on the front. With... I don't know what we get. I don't know, what do we get? Let's see, let's see. There's something heavy in here. Oh, I can't do this one handed, hang on. Hang on. What do we get? We get, it's like a program. <laughs> Get closer. Chris Millard. Chris Millard fed the lemurs at Nuki Zoo. Yay! Emma Millard fed the lemurs at Nuki Zoo. We got certificates. <laughs> look. Yeah. Show them off. Look. Yeah. Oh, certificates. Um, we got a adopt an animal, so you can adopt animals here. Um, oh, a bit of information on the crowned lemurs, what we fed. Um, and then what else? Something heavy in here. What is it? The bill. 
the bill. <laughs> wasn't too bad actually for both of us to feed the lemurs was 70 pounds. Bearing in mind I paid 70 pound for Chris. Don't your entrance into the park. Yeah, that's good. But I paid 70 pound for Chris to feed the penguins for one person. What's the park anyway? Is it 15.99 each? What for here? 95 each. Uh huh. So you're talking what? 31, 32 quid. Yeah. So on its own. Uh huh. But then for an extra 40 quid. Just yeah. over, just under 40 quid, you get to have an animal experience as well. And apparently, feeding the lemurs is the best experience to do because you can you can do the penguins, yeah, um, and you can do what is it the what's the, what's macaques. the macaques, macaques, the monkeys, but it has to be behind the um, oh, you're right, tired. Yeah, tired. has to be behind the cages. Whereas with you feed them through the cage, yeah, with the lemurs you can lemurs, actually just they crawl all over get you. in there. And, oh yeah. Got a fridge magnet, look, that's what the heavy thing was. I fed the crown lemurs at Nuki Zoo. <laughs> <laughs> this is so funny. Yeah, that Are we gonna frame them? Yeah. Yeah. Put them in the office. Put them in the office. We fed the lemurs at the zoo. <laughs> oh, I really, really enjoyed that. It was so good and it was so quiet. So quiet. Anyway. The monkey there, look. Oh yeah. Hi. <laughs> oh yeah. Right, put that somewhere safe. I'm looking at the car. Right, plan now. It is four o'clock. We are going to head to Truro to see what's there. Apparently, it's just shops. So, we're going to have a mooch around there before they close. Then, go and find somewhere for dinner. So, this is Truro. I think this must be Truro High Street. I think. It's got a Poundland and a Pep and Co. <laughs> <laughs> Sold. Chris. Have we got 10 grand? Yeah. Yeah? Can I have this watch? No, it looks a bit tacky now. I'd rather spend a bit more. Oh, would you? Yeah. Fancy a Rolex? No? No, I don't. <laughs> Five grand? Six grand? Seven grand? It's a bit later now. In fact, it's like half past seven, something like that. We're going to go into Nuki to go and find somewhere to eat, just go for a wander, that kind of thing. Got changed. I thought I'd show you. What I was wearing, doing a little outfit of the evening. So I've got my leopard print dress that I got in the sale at New Look, it was nine pound. My oversized denim jacket that I got from ASOS. Oh, I got these earrings from New Look the other day. They were two pounds in the sale. Bargain. bargain, absolute bargain. Right, are you ready? Yes. yes. Let's go, go, go. It's very quiet in town. You can tell it's not seasonal, can't you? It's so quiet, but it's nice. Oh, so you can walk along the beach down there. You no, can walk, walk along. Down here, and you end up there. Oh, like can't you walk? Down. Can't you walk down there? You can, but the tides come right up. Look. Oh. You can go down that road, but the tides come right up. So you can't go on the beach. No, no, but <laughs> so Chris has just won thirty quid on the slot machines, and I didn't realise in these over eighteen slot machine bits, you get free snacks. It's like a proper casino. I'm really tempted for that lion bar right now. <laughs> I must have spent about four pounds on this machine already and now Chris is having a go. I want the dinosaur pug. I want the dinosaur pug. <laughs> Clearly wants to stay. Come on, swing it in. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, my friend, I'm coming back for you. Consoling ourselves with gin. Hey, I've got salad with mine. <laughs> yeah, you've got a lot of salad in yours. Salad. I've got pear. Nice pear. <laughs> oh, that's really satisfying. <laughs> it is in my belly. And we're back. Oh, that's a nice shot of the toilet there. Let's move that away. Shot of the toilet. Chris is in a state of undress, so I'm not going to turn the camera around. Um, well, I, everyone would love it. <laughs> I'm sure everyone would love yeah, it, honey. They would love it. But you know, I might. It's PG on this channel. It's PG. Well, I've got one and a half hours. Anyway, I just wanted to say goodbye for this first Cornwall vlog. You've had two days, so it's been quite busy. We've been to Linmouth, Linton, uh, the zoo, 
walked a bit around Newquay, went to Truro. Well, you've seen it all in the vlog. Um, and we've drank a lot of gin as well. So that's always a good thing. Anyway, um, I hope you've enjoyed. The next vlog will be up on either next week or Sunday. It depends how quickly I edit these vlogs, but um, it will be up soon. So keep your eyes peeled for the next instalment. So we are gonna go to Newquay tomorrow, uh, Padstow. We're gonna go to Trago Mills. That will be exciting in the next vlog. I do love Trago Mills. Um, if you live in and around Cornwall, you'll know what I'm talking about. But all will be revealed in the next vlog. So anyway, right, I'm gonna go now. So I will see you guys in the next one. I really hope you've enjoyed and I will see you soon.